What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, and you know, I just I want to apologize for the way that I acted last night around you guys. Like I know normally it wasn't, you know, that's not really a good thing to do, but. And, you know, in all honesty, I had a very good reason to do what I did last night. You know, I've been holding in what that man Eric had done to me for so long. And, like, I tried to forget about it. I tried to avoid it. I tried to move on. And, you know, and forget that it even happened. But, you know, when you see it all over social media... And, you know, and you see it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, everywhere. It's, it's kind of hard to avoid. It really is hard to avoid that when it's right there in your face all over social media every day. And I was reading through some of the comments and I read one. I don't know who it was by. I forget. But I know that somebody had said that it was... You know, it was also on her as well. And to a certain extent, you're right. In a way, it was on her as well. And and I see your point on that. But also, you have to remember how manipulative this man is. This man could literally talk his way out of almost anything. This man is very manipulative. He's just pure evil. And when this man took the girl that I loved away from me, that start that's what started you know me getting into mentally and verbally abusive relationships and ultimately leading up to the way that i am now which you know it's, it's very hard to come back from something like that even though it's been almost three to four years it's still you know it's still there it's still very hard to deal with hold that thought guys Sorry, guys, we're getting these calls from this pen credit score. You know, I had to avoid them. But, you know, like I was saying, when this man, you know, took, you know, the girl that I had been with since my freshman year of high school back in 2009, all the way up till 2015. Like, you know, like me and her, we were on and off throughout our high school career. I'll admit that, you know, we would be together for a while. So, you know, every, you know, usual high school couples, you know, type thing. But we were to get, we were on and off from then until shortly after high school when me and her got back together. And at the time that we wanted to get back together, I was with my fucked up ex, Heather, which I know a lot of you do remember Heather. I was with Heather for about four years, you know, after. And, you know, and then she went back home and everything like that. So, but after Heather left, that's when me and Christina got together and, you know, and everything was going good. And then, all of a sudden, Eric decided after me and her got into a fight that he would go behind my back and take her from me. After sitting there in front of my face, telling me that even though he liked her, that he would not date her out of pure respect for me. So that day that he took her from me, he not only stabbed me in the back, not only did he break his promise to me, he sent me on a downward spiral that I'm just now trying to come back from. And, you know, and I've been to counselors and everything, and believe me, no amount of counseling can help what he's done to me. No amount of therapy can ever help what he's put me through. 
Because when he took her from me, that's when I started getting into, you know, the mentally abusive and verbally abusive relationships. And it's it's not easy. You know, a lot of people think, oh, you know, you'll be all right. You'll move on. You'll find the right one. Well, in my case, it's not that simple. Because there's not very many that do want to be with me because of the fact that, yes, I do work. I have my very own custom clothing shop. You know, I have my own custom clothing shop and, you know, and I do music. That's my job. That's how I make my income. But they hate, and they don't hate the fact that I have my own custom clothing shop and that I run my own business. They don't mind that. But what pisses them off is the fact that I do still live at home when, with my mom, when they don't understand the situation. See, my mom got into, she got hit by a car a few years back and ever since, you know, she's had severe problems where she can barely walk up and down the stairs and stuff like that. And it's it's hard. So while she's at work doing painting with our roommate throughout the day, because they both work under the same guy. And so, you know, while she does housework, simple stuff like that, you know, I have to sit here and I have to watch the house because we do have thieves around here that do live around here. So while she's at work, I sit here and I watch the house during the day. And, you know, and I take care of the dog and stuff like that. And a lot of people hate that. They hate the fact that I don't have my own home. And believe me, I want to have my own house. I would love that. But given my circumstances, it's just not possible. And even the ones that don't mind all that, it's their parents that hate me for no reason. I don't know if it's because of the way I look or what, but that's that's how it is for me. That's why it's so hard for me to be with anyone because of all that. And on top of all the mental and verbal abuse that I've had to face over the years, the constant being scared that they're going to leave and, you know, trying to stay positive. It's, it's not as easy as people would think. Because when you've gone through mental and verbal abuse for so many years, and you try to be with somebody after all that, it's very, very hard to. It's very hard because you're constantly having to remind yourself, you know, hey, this person's not going to labor. Hey, you know, what if they're not really doing the things that your mind is thinking that they're doing? Because a lot of the times when I'm with someone, I'm constantly thinking, hey, what if this person, you know, is doing this? You know, what are they doing? Like, you know, like, what if they're cheating on me or this and that? Like, there's a lot of things that go through your mind when you're in that state of mind. And it's it's a very, very bad place to be. Which is why, you know, whenever I'm not, you know, rec- like, if I'm not recording or, you know, playing, you know, video games and doing YouTube videos for my channel and whatnot, you know, when I'm laying there and I'm inside my head, that's a bad place to be. Not saying that I'm suicidal, not saying that at all, because, you know, I'm past that. But it starts to make you think. I get inside my head and let's just say that that space between my ears is not a very good place to be. It's dark. It's very scary, honestly. You know, it makes you think, you know, are you really good enough for anyone? And and I'm sure I am, and maybe I just haven't found them yet, but at the same time, it's very hard to, you know, stay positive when you've gone through all that stuff that I've gone through, and, you know, and like I said, you know, I'm sorry for going off like I did last night on Eric Leroux, but you gotta understand what he did to me destroyed me. And that set me on a downward spiral into where I was at, which is mentally and verbally abusive relationships, one right after the other. And it's not easy recovering from it. And believe me, even now, even after all that, I'm still trying to recover and, uh, and find somebody that, you know, will actually, you know, be with me and not care about all that. And not have all the mentally screwed up issues that I've had to deal with. That's why when I made that post about, 
you know, why can't I be with somebody that doesn't have mental issues? I just wasn't, I wasn't just referring to my current ex, Becca. I was referring to all my exes that were not right in the head. Because I've had a lot of exes that were severely, you know, mentally out there. And, you know, it was a bad, you know, it was a bad time all around. You know, like it was a bad spot for me. You know, and yes, I'm in a better spot than what I was in. But ultimately, you know, I would like to have, you know, that same kind of love that I had with Christina, I would like to have that back again with someone else. I really would. But my problem is, like I said, either they don't like the situation that I'm in, or their parents just flat out hate me for no fucking reason. So it's 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 a very weird and odd situation for me. But, you know, like I said, guys, I do apologize that you had to see me go off last night like you did. But, you know, like I said, I've been holding that in for many years. And it just it finally hit its boiling point last night when I was on social media and I seen those two together. That's when, you know, I hit my breaking point and to where I said, you know, enough is enough. I need to start fighting back. I need to stand up for myself and say something. And honestly, you guys have no idea how, how fucking hard that was for me to do. Like, that was very hard for me to do, to come out and speak about what he had done to me and everything that I've gone through over the last few years because of him. That was a very hard thing for me to do. You know, and it took a lot of courage and guts for me to do what I did, but I did it. It may have not have been in the best way, but, you know, I had a reason to do what I did in the way that I did it. Okay, you know, like I said, you know, if you guys have ever seen the pictures of me and Christina together, you'd see why me and her were really, really good together. My mom liked her. My family liked her. You know, her family liked me. You know, everything was great. You know, I'd met her family. She had met mine. Everything was good. And, you know, and this is funny. One thing that she used to do all the time is she would always, like, every day after work, she would sneak over here. Even though she was supposed to, like, she was supposed to go right home, she would constantly, you know, sneak over here. We'd spend some time together, and then she'd go home. Like, that's, that was our thing. That's what we did. You know, she would sneak over here. Like, of course, obviously, my mom knew about it, obviously. But, you know, she would sneak over here. We would spend time together, you know, after work. You know, you know, we'd spend time together, you know, watch movies, go for walks, you know, cuddle, that kind of thing. But because of Eric Leroux and what he did to me, all that is gone. And I know it's kind of messed up to compare, you know, somebody to one of your exes, but you guys don't understand why. This is the girl that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. This was literally a girl I had known since my freshman year of high school. That This girl knew me better than anyone. And when I mean better than anyone, I mean better than anyone. Like This girl knew all my secrets, everything that I had been through. You know, what my life was like, she knew every little thing about me. Even the stuff I don't tell you guys, she knew about. And that's, and she was told, and that's like, I can't say that I've ever been able to really do that with anyone. And, you know, and it, it hurts. It hurts seeing those two together. But yet, here I am every day forced to see it all over social media. Even though I had the both of them blocked, you know, I still have friends and family that, you know, well, not necessarily family, but I have, like, you know, friends from high school that, you know, talk to them and they get tagged in the pictures. And, you know, I'm still sitting here happy to see it. And that's not fair to me at all. 
It's like he's mocking me. He's basically, by him doing that, he's basically saying, ha, 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 I took your girl from you. What are you going to do about it? Like, that's what he's basically doing. And, you know, it's it's not fair to me, and it's not fair to anyone, really, that has to see me go through that. But... You know, I do hope that you guys understand why I did what I did and where I was ultimately coming from. And, you know, maybe and hopefully one day I will find that person that, you know, I can actually be, you know, be with and be myself around. Because, you know, with me doing the career that I do, every girl that I get with, they either mentally and verbally abuse me or they want money that I don't have. They think because I'm a music artist that I'm making all this money and this and that. That's not the case at all. I'm not rich at all. I'm not making any money from my music. So, you know, it's it's a very fucked up situation. But like I said, guys, I do hope that you understand where I'm coming from you know, with all this and why I did what I did last night. Granted, I know I was a little bit harsh in the way I did it, but like I said, I'd had those feelings boiling for many years. And last night when I seen them together on social media, that just, it it made me snap. It made me hit my boiling point. And ultimately, I did what I did. But, you know, I do feel like I had every reason to do it the way that I did because of all the anger that he had built up inside of me over the years. But uh, anyways, guys, I love you all. And uh, hopefully I can get back to a better state of, you know, mine in the long run, like, I'm, I'm trying to come back from all this mental and verbal abuse, I'm trying to, you know, put myself out there, you know, I'm trying to, you know, be that person that I used to be before all this, and it's, it's not easy, but I am trying, and hopefully if the right one comes along, I'll be able to do that, and that's ultimately what I'm, that's ultimately what I'm looking for, is somebody that I can be with, that will understand my situation, support me in it, and help me get me, help get me back to, you know, where I need to be. You know, somebody that's willing to work with me and get me back to where I once was. To where I don't have to worry about whether they're going to leave me or not, or whether they're cheating on me or not. I, I want someone that's willing to be able to do that. But like I said, guys, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with all this and why I did what I did last night. Um, I also will be talking about why me and my current ex, Becca, split up. I will be talking about that later on. Um, I actually might wind up talking. I may or may not talk about that in my next YouTube video that I'm working on. But uh, with that being said... I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.